Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use BitInvader, which is LMMS's simplest synthesizer. Um, BitInvader has one oscillator, and it is naturally loud, so usually you want to turn it down unless you want to blow your earbuds. Naturally, it has a very 8 bit fill to it because what it really does is it takes values from negative 1 to 1 and turns them into a wave. However, it doesn't have to sound so a bit. You can either increase how many values make up the wave. And you can also turn on interpolation, which smooths all those rough edges. And makes it sound a lot less a bit than it would without it. Interpolation makes it sound very nice. So the shape, like as I demonstrated, can be drawn by you. Or it can be one of the preset sine, triangle, sawtooth, square, or looped white noise. The S button is not a waveform, even though it's in that group. What it does is it smooths the waveform. For example, if you have white noise, hitting smooth does a lot <laughs> on it. Instead, it makes it sound like this weird FM thing. But smoothing can be helpful just in case you're trying to draw something and you don't want it sounding that harsh. It's very easy to make it sound how you want with the smooth button. And this last thing, what you can do is you can load up a sample and use it as a waveform. This is almost a certain kind of audio file processor, however this is preferred because this actually takes a short waveform and synthesizes it. Um, so it sounds a little bit more natural. However, don't try and use a piano for this, like a piano sound, because this shape is supposed to be like way, way, way smaller than a second, whereas your piano sample, stick to using some sort of sampler, because this will break your ears if you try and <laughs> if you try and do that. There's also the normalize option down here. On a normal wave, it doesn't really seem to have much of an effect. However, what it does is it takes all the values of your wave and stretches them from 1 to negative 1 if they're not already there. So right now you can barely hear the sound. Very, very quiet. Normalize stretches it so that it's actually a wave. Without normalize, it is very, very quiet. This is useful when you're loading up waveforms that happen to be very quiet, or when you accidentally make something that sounds good, but is not as loud as you want it. Normalize can give it that extra boost to make it as loud as it should be without hard clipping or any of that jazz. Besides that, there's really nothing more to learn about Bit Invader. You can be the Bit Invader master <laughs> or whatever. What it, it, basically, if you know all the stuff, it's all there is to know about Bit Invader. So. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope that was helpful. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.